and welcome to Eddie's Expression Initiative at Home. My name's Nate, I'm going to be taking you through some mindfulness stuff today. Something to think about. This week we've been working with the concept of time. So, what is time? Do you have any idea what it actually is? How it works? If we can use it? If it really exists? Here's some thoughts. So what is time? As a basic, simple understanding, time is a unit of measurement. So we use, like we would a ruler, time is a measurement of experiences passing, I'd say, and it never stops. It just keeps going and going and going and going and going. We know that it's going because we're experiencing it. Where do they think time started? The Big Bang is the theory of where time possibly started. What was the Big Bang? The Big Bang is this idea. Um, they started looking at the planets around us and the stars and everything in the universe and they saw it all traveling away from the one central spot. So they tracked all those destinations back to one place and they hypothesized, came up with the idea, that perhaps there was a big explosion and everything is projecting out in all directions at once as the universe expands. And, which you explain why the universe is expand, expanding. And how long has this been going on for? Well, billions of years. We, we can do our best to measure it. We'll never know exactly. But scientists have dedicated their lives to figuring that out. But what is time? Time is weird. Because time is experienced different by different people. Like, um, older people experience time quicker than younger people. It's true. As you get older, time flies. Time moves quickly. We're going to spend a bit of time in our lives doing some stuff. So I'll sort of break it down for you a little bit here, just so you can, can understand what's going on. Every person on this planet, oh, the average person on this planet lives 79 years. That's 28,835 days. That's how we break the measurements down. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, and on it goes. The number's getting bigger and bigger. So how much time do we actually have? So 79 years, 28,835 days. Here's the trick. So I've taken some notes because I want to get this right. So based on averages, people will spend 33 years in bed. Okay, now that'd be fine, but you're spending 26 of those years sleeping and seven years trying to go to sleep. Recent stats have shown that most people are gonna spend 70% of their time in front of digital devices. You know, you're gonna watch TV for 9.1 years, so you better watch something good. On average, spend 2.5 years cooking and 3.6 years eating and 92 days on the toilet. So if time's a measurement, we've had time to figure some stuff out, we've been around, I mean, now let's measure, let's take it by the, um, the calendar that we currently use, 365 days a year. Yeah, well, 365 point two five days a year with every fourth year being a leap year um, okay let's break this down real quick time when did we start thinking like there was when did we start having time I mean we were if we go by um, evolution and uh, cavemen and wild man and homo sapiens so on and so forth homo erectus um, we were hunter-gatherers and we had to catch our food. And that was a daily practice, catching our food. We had to go out and do that every day. Okay, cool, fantastic. 2,000 years ago, something was going on that changed everything. Um, we have Jesus who came forth and gave us information about the world. We also had uh, the Dirty Three which was Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. They were around very close to around the same time that Jesus was around, which is something that I think people overlook. Why were people thinking? Because they could farm. Agriculture took over. 
So with the development of sesame oil, we're able to burn for longer, work later into the night, get stuff done. We were farming animals, we were farming crops, we were storing food, and we started to have some time, some spare time. And people had time to start thinking, what are we doing here? What is this world? What is this life? We're very lucky nowadays to have so much time and so much information in our hands. This information has progressed. We have kept accumulating knowledge over time. To the point that, it's a book by Andrew Fuller. It's called A Life, A Guide, and What to Expect in Each Seven Year Stage. It goes through stages that last seven years per cycle. Everybody has a new body every seven years. And what they've done is these guys have looked at the average things that happen to people at around those times in their lives and they've plotted it out for you. So the average human life can be designed if you want to use the gifts that you're given over time as you learn. So we have this time, we have this clicking, ticking clock, right? And we're always, and we feel like we can be late for stuff. We feel like we're behind time. We can get frustrated at the idea of time, but time is just an idea. It doesn't really exist as a thing. It's not tangible. I can't go and get a cup of time. I can't go and cut myself a slice of time. Time isn't physical, really. In The Power of Now, Eckhart Tolle talks about the s how stillness speaks. How if you sit in silence and in a moment and you try not to think, here's your mindfulness exercise. If you sit in silence and don't think about what needs to be done and don't think about what you haven't done or what you should have done, be present in this moment. Because your 76 years that you've got in this planet, or 79 years or whatever that number is that keeps shifting as every time we look at different research, also states that you're only really going to spend eight years doing what you want to do, or things of choice. Eight years. You can increase that number, I think, if you become present in your moments, and become aware of your moments more. Because time, like I said, is subjective and it shifts for all of us. If you would like to know how time shifts, there's a book called The Field by Dr. Lynn McTaggart. And they go through some theories of how time is subjective and moves. So before I run out of time, I want to say thank you for watching today's video. I want to thank you for watching all the videos you have. If you want to go back and click and watch some of the other videos, um, I've got like 13 now in back catalog if you want to check that out if you haven't seen them already. Um, if you can like, subscribe, share, comment, you know, all that interactive stuff that us social media people love, that would be great. We're back at Eddie's next week. Make an appointment, come and see us, give us a chat, shout out. Yeah, take care of yourselves, guys, and watch out for each other. And don't forget, wash your hands. Hi, guys. Um, thanks for watching the video. Can you like, uh, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification, everything you need to do, you know what you need to do. Can you do it, please? That'd be great. All right, cool. See you in the next one, guys. Take care. Thank you.